Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Curly Creations. Today, I'm doing a piece I call Magic Reveal. Uh, it's a continuation of my faux pillow series. Uh, there are some that call these the reveal. So, and it, it actually is very appropriate uh, because in the style of the reveal, when you pull up the colors from the bottom, there's, it's, it's revealing what's underneath. So I'm gonna get down, we're gonna talk about the colors for just a second and we'll get started. Talk about colors for today. Uh, we're gonna be working with uh, this little piggy, Grenache. This little piggy, Submarine plus I, I, Honeycomb. And this little piggy, ba piggy Ball Gown. This is Amsterdam uh, Lamp Black. You can see, hopefully you can see the consistency. These are thinner paints than I usually work with. And I'm tr making a test today um, to see if I can do a better job of uh, getting my black to cover without as many bubbles and to be able to pull up the bottom colors. So let's get right to it. My peel of paint, PPG multi -pro. People ask me all the time what the mat is all about. It's more than just, you know, to keep my area clean. It also, I use the line on the, on the, the, uh, on the mat itself, the circular mat itself, to help me line things up better. That's what I was just doing. I was making sure my lines were what I wanted so that I, I had my cross stitches here, my cross hairs. Next is going to be my honeycomb submarine mixture. Right over there, right there on top of the, uh, right there on top of the Grenache. It really doesn't matter because what what goes down first is what's down on the bottom. So it works just fine. Okay, right across the top of that is going to be my my lamp black. You know what I'm doing with this. My crosshairs here and here allow me to know also where my colors are in the middle. I'm going to use my this is my white uh, my rounded teardrop um, rounded uh, palette knife and down on this I'm going to use. my titanium white. This is my triart titanium white. Uh, 
this case I just what I did there is I just dipped it in and, and now you can see with this this is something that happens with the triarc the uh, the, uh, the, it always pulls away from the side. That's a difference with the tryout between that and the Amstrad. The Amstrad has a different consistency. Um, and I'm trying to wrap my head around, trying to wrap my head around this. I think, um, just for brand chucks, I'm throw a little bit of my boom gel, uh, pearlescent white on top of that. drop just enough to help it out uh, a little tiny bit of the honeycomb uh, the honeycomb uh, submarine mixture and of that Dale that's a lot of that's a lot of paint right there. I'm gonna just let it kind of move off a little bit. That's all gonna get spun off. Okay, let's see. another swipe on this because my cells are nice there but they're kind of wonky or kind of big there uh, and I really want to get some of this stretched out so scoop and drag this Amsterdam titanium white cell activator. You'll be able to see side by side. Okay, let's get some scooping and a dragon going. I'm going to pull some of those colors up. You can see a few of my colors are starting to pop there.
minor spin. Stretching as slow as I can. Uh, move things closer to the side and start deciding where I want the composition to sit. See more I'm looking at up. The, as far as when I talk about center, I'm talking about the weight of the paint. I'm going to stretch this just a little bit and get them in different colors. The weight of my paint is now coming toward the center now. If you watch my channel at all on a regular basis, you know that I, I love doing uh, I do love doing what I call faux pillow, um, what I call faux pillow pours. Uh, I've also seen the term for them as reveal pours. The charm of this is fluid art by by its nature it tends to be accidental in a lot of ways. With this technique, I can control a little bit more and make, make my, my pores more intentional. I really dislike black in the sense of having to clean up. So I try to mitigate as much as I can to make sure that I don't have as much. Now what's going to happen here is I need to spin this and a lot of this is going to go over the sides. I think I'm just going to have to accept that. So here we go. I'm now I'm spinning to open things up and to get the paint There is plenty of paint on here. I should have no problem getting it all off the sides. Uh, there is a little bit of white down on the end here, on this end here, that I might have to contend with. But you know, sometimes those accidents turn out to be features. So. in the middle, let's see.
I can always go in afterwards and paint my sides. I always like to have enough paint that it can go all the way off the sides. But it is not necessarily a, a bad thing. And I have plenty of paint on the sides that I can I can pull down and encourage. At that, I think we're ready for the flyover. I'll take you right back. Take a look at this. We have quite a bit uh, that is interesting in this one. My cells aren't huge, but they kept their form. And I'm happy about that. Uh, as opposed to last one I did, I was able to pull the colors up where I wanted them. So I'm, I'm happy about that also. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. It really does help, and it's absolutely free. As always, I want to thank you very much for being here today, and I hope you got something out of this. If you could, leave a message down in the comments if you've got something you'd like to see me do soon. Thanks again for being here. Bye for now.